Hi, I'm Corey Weatherton, Director of Product Development for the Jayco Motorhome Group, and today I'm excited to show you this new 2023 Jayco Greyhawk. Now, I know you're going to question what this floor plan is when around the inside because it has some great features to it. This is the 30Z Greyhawk. Again, it's the 2023 Jayco Greyhawk 30Z. I want to point out some of the, the features that this product has, some of the highlights this product has, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact your local Jayco dealer, and I'm sure they'd love to answer them for you. First of all, as we always love to talk about on all of our products, is our ride and handling package. Now, this Jayco Greyhawk has the J-Ride package on it. You can see the sticker right there indicating it. Our J-Ride package um, consists of three different things on a Red Hawk, uh, five different things on a Greyhawk. So this is actually your J-Ride Plus. So that gives you five components. The first thing that you're getting on this, this chassis is a computer balanced drive shaft. Now, as we extend this chassis, we go from a two-piece drive shaft to a three-piece drive shaft. Uh, we put all three of those pieces together and we balance it as if it's one unit. And so we get a super tight balance on it. Why would we do that? Um, not so much because of a shake or shimmy or shutter going down the road, because honestly, if we balance two pieces together and then the third piece put them together, um, it would be fine. But we do that because we want to be a super quiet riding coach. So as we put all three together, um, we are getting a tight balance. Now, uh, this, this motorhome is kind of like a seashell. Why do I say that? Because as a kid, you're told that if you put a seashell up to your ear, you're going to hear the ocean. Well, that's not true. Sound is just accentuated in enclosed spaces. And so this is that enclosed space. We found that as we uh, balance all three of those drive shafts together, we get rid of a, light, a lot of white background noise on the inside. Um, so that's the first thing, is that three-piece computer balanced drive shaft. The second thing is rubber isolation mounts. Now, fun fact is, is that as we get this uh, bare frame rail from, chass uh, from Ford or any of our manufacturers, um, there are rubber isolation mounts up and down each side of the frame rail. Those are designed to reduce road noise and vibration. And we are the only chassis um, upfitter uh, that actually reinstalls those. So on your cab, you're gonna have four rubber isolation mounts. And then on both sides of your rear axle, you're gonna have two rubber isolation mounts on each side. Now Ford puts those on because they reduce road noise and vibration. And so we think that Ford knows what they're talking about, so we reinstall those. So that's your second component of your J-Ride, J-Ride Plus package. The third component is Helwig helper springs on the rear. Helwig helper springs uh, kind of have two functions. The first one is uh, it increases the tongue capacity on your tow hitch. So uh, from Ford, these have a 7,500 pound tow capacity. We're the only manufacturer that has a 10% ratio as trailers are designed. So a cargo trailer, if your uh, gross vehicle weight rating on that is 6,000 pounds, it's designed to have a 600 pound tongue capacity. So in order to maximize your towing with this chassis, we install Helwig helper springs on the rear. We also do a couple other things to get that 750 pound tongue capacity, but those Helwigs help with that. Um, what those Helwigs also do is they help create more stability, so you get less left to right rocking. Now that's your standard J-Ride package. Once we move up to the J-Ride Plus package, we're giving you two more components. The first is Kony shocks. So these are Kony FSD shocks frequency selective dampening. So Kony says that there's two frequencies that this chassis will experience going down the road. The first one is that big pothole. Um, that's a dual valve shock. And so when you hit the big pothole, both valves open up and allow a lot of hydraulic fluid to go through to give you that cushion that you need. The second frequency is just kind of that slow body roll. So as you're cornering on a clover leaf, uh, the sh let's say we're, we're uh, doing this sort of a corner, uh, the opposite side, is going to want to push down and compress. So in that scenario, only one valve will open up to let a little bit of hydraulic fluid through to give you the stability you need. So the cool thing about these Kony FSD shocks is they give you both comfort and stability. So that is the fourth component on our J-Ride Plus. Now the fifth component is one that uh, is kind of difficult to see, but on the rear of the coach, we actually remove Ford's stabilizer bar and we put an oversized stabilizer bar on it. So why do we do that? Because we know that if this doesn't handle well, if it doesn't drive well, it's gonna be staying parked in your driveway 
and you're probably going to be down the road at a hotel instead of maximizing the usage of this. So as we take off the forward stabilizer bar, put on an oversized stabilizer bar, that component alone increases the stability of this coach by 62%. So you get 62% less rocking back and forth. That coupled with your Helwig helper springs, uh, coupled with your Coney shocks, this is one of the best driving coaches on the road, um, the best at this price point. So we always talk about our J-Ride and J-Ride Plus package. Second thing I want to point out on this is our front cap. Uh, so this is a one-piece seamless fiberglass front cap. Now Class C's are notorious, uh, not to scare you, but they're notorious for leaking at this seam right here where your bunk platform comes over and where your wall comes down. Every other manufacturer, they will not have a one-piece seamless fiberglass front cap. Some may say they have a fiberglass front cap, but it only covers this portion right here. This seam, the dangerous seam, is still exposed. And so water will run down the side of the wall and seep up in there. The question with these front caps um, or front ends isn't if it'll leak, but when it'll leak. So at Jayco, we know that that is an exposed spot on your motorhome. Last thing we wanna do is for you to get water into that and ruin your investment. So our walls go all the way to the front. Our bunk platforms come all the way over. Uh, that seam is there, but we slide this front cap on just like a glove on the hand. The structure's there. We cover it with a glove to protect it. The structure's here, and we've just covered it to protect it. That's very important for you as the customer to know. Walk around any dealership's lot that has multiple brands. Walk around in an RV show, and you'll see what I'm talking about. That seam is always there, but not with a Jayco. So I want to point that out to you. Another thing that I want to point out on the outside is our warranty, a two plus three warranty. A two-year limited warranty, what's it limited by? Limited by 24,000 miles or honestly, customer negligence. If you do something that's on your end versus our manufacturing defect, it's not gonna be something we cover. And really, uh, there's not a manufacturer of any product in this world that'll probably cover what you're talking about, that negligence there. Um, but the warranty, it's a great warranty. It's twice the industry standard. Plus we give you a three-year structural warranty. That's a big deal. Um, we want you to feel comfortable as you make this purchase that we as a manufacturer, we're confident in our product and we're gonna stand by you uh, for two complete years and also three years for that structural. So both those things are a huge deal. Um, on the outside, some of the things you can't see, this Greyhawk has a full one-piece fiberglass roof. It is crowned to allow the water, the snow to run off. Fully walkable, but one-piece fiberglass roof. Great thing about that is very durable. Longevity of the coach is just extended there. You're not going to have to worry about replacing it in the future as you would a TPO roof. So great roof on that. Also, we have a 195 watt solar panel with a dual controller. So it monitors your chassis battery and also your house battery that's in your stairs here. You actually have two house batteries in these stairs. So it's going to monitor if your chassis battery is full. It'll in a sense close off that circuit, send all your power to these two batteries. A great, great, great feature on this motorhome. A WineGuard 2.0 Connect is on the roof as well. That is a 4G hotspot is also um, a Wi-Fi range extender. So you're at the campgrounds, you're kind of parked far away from the office, it'll grab that weak signal and intensify it, and you're gonna be able to use this as a mobile hotspot. Um, as we go down the side of this coach, you're gonna see our metal slam latches here on our baggage doors. We're not giving you the twist locks, the cam locks there. Um, all of our baggage doors on our Greyhawks are gonna have this. Something I wanna point out to you as well is here in the back of the coach, this floor plan, the 30Z, if you're Canadian, the 30Z, this floor plan is absolutely incredible because there is a ton of rear storage back here. Um, it's a complete pass through. If you have something taller, wider, larger, uh, you can access it from the rear of the coach as well. There's a cavity back there uh, that does allow for those larger items, say a storage tote or a big box. Plenty of room here for your camp chairs, plenty of room here for, for a white folding table that you can use at your campsite. Just an awesome feature. I know uh, storage on these Class C's is always a struggle. 30Z, a great floor plan. Uh, so that's a lot of the exterior here. You are getting your, your standard, your 4,000 watt gas generator. It does pull from your chassis. When your chassis gets to a quarter of a tank, it'll shut off your generator so you're not left stranded somewhere. Uh, we also have an auxiliary start switch on this chassis. So let's say your, your, your chassis battery is dead. You can just push that auxiliary start button 
turn your key and it'll draw power from your house batteries to start this unit. So uh, that's not only on this unit, but it's on every Jayco. So uh, rest assured, we're covering you so you're not left stranded somewhere. Um, as I mentioned, tow capacity, 7,500 pounds. You do have rear camera on this, as well as side cameras that are mounted in your mirrors. So uh, we've provided with uh, you a lot of safety. Comfort driving this is, is second to none. So let's go on inside the coach, and we're gonna take a look there. So we are inside this absolutely beautiful and very functional 30Z floor plan. And some of the things I want to point out to you are honestly kind of obvious, but at the same time, there's some things in here that, that you're probably not going to catch unless somebody points them out to you. Uh, right behind me in this cab area, uh, the overhead bunk. The overhead bunk, Jayco's unique, uh, years and years ago. We saw manufacturers installing bunks that were rated at 350, 400, maybe 425 pounds. Um, one of the things that allows us to do that two-year warranty, whereas everybody else is one, is just the, the lengths that our engineering goes to, our engineering team goes to, in order to just make this more sturdy, more beefy, uh, than honestly, than what a lot of our competitors are. Uh, we were the pioneer in, in really instituting this 750-pound bunk rating. The average within the industry is around that 425 to 450 pound mark. So uh, 750 pounds up here, will 750 pounds ever be up there? I don't know, but at the same time, we've given you that with this front bunk. Very large area, comfortably two adults could sleep up there, uh, potentially three children. You say three children, I don't want the outside one to roll out. Good call on that. We are installing safety nets here as well. Uh, the safety net is laying back there against the window. Uh, we hook it up uh, in both of these seatbelt uh, mechanisms and then hook down here on these bunk wings. So we've looked out for your children that are gonna sleep up there just because we don't want them falling out either. Behind me, that beautiful window, um, that is new for the 2023 uh, Greyhawk. Uh, that window does have a power shade. So if you're down in Arizona, you're down in the southwest somewhere, you don't want to get baked out of this like a greenhouse, go ahead and put that power shade down. But at the same time, we've provided that for you because your kids or you when you're up there uh, in the middle of, of uh, Yosemite, fill in the blank with wherever, that is just a great viewing window at night just to see the stars and the natural beauty. That's why you go camping, isn't it? Because you want to get in the great outdoors. So uh, we've given you that, that front window in the 2023 Jayco Greyhawk. Great feature there. The cab area, pretty much standard from Ford. Uh, we don't really do much to modify that other than giving this uh, 8.95 inch Sony infotainment unit. That Sony infotainment unit, you can use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Uh, so your maps, no need to worry about updating the maps in that head unit. There's no nav in that. The great thing with that is Waze or uh, your Apple your Maps or whatever that thing's called automatically updates. You're not going to have to pay for updates there. So it will mirror uh, what's on your phone. Great feature there. And we have recovered these seats. Um, these seats are very comfortable, uh, very plush. This is the Ford V8 engine. About two years ago, everybody in the industry went from Ford's V10 to the V8. Ford forced that. It's been a great engine. Ford uh, reports better fuel economy. It will give you a little bit better fuel economy. So just want to point that out. Great chassis, great engine. We've not done much to modify anything other than um, our seats up here, as well as that infotainment unit. What I honestly, if I have to let the cat out of the bag, if I have to show you my hand of cards, um, this is my favorite floor plan for the Jayco Greyhawk. I love it because to me, it feels very residential. You have your kitchen area and your dining up here. And then here in a moment, you'll see as we move back, we kind of have our living room back into the bathroom, clearly back into the bedroom. For me, this feels very residential. So uh, this, this, uh, this dinette can turn into a bed. This is a Jayco exclusive uh, dining mechanism. So it's just very simple to turn into a bed. You lift up on the outer edge of the, of the table and then pull out with this, push down with that hand, and it will pivot down. Once it's all the way down, tension will come off of that uh, that mechanism there and it'll stay flat. And then to put it back into place, you simply, there's a, there's a latch back there it goes. Great thing about that is uh, Thanksgiving dinner, you're, going, you're at Thanksgiving out in the wilderness, you put that heavy turkey on there, your table's not gonna drop an inch uh, with the other mechanism that has a latch out here. Um, that mechanism, we started using that, we stopped using that probably two, three years ago, maybe four by now, simply because they are prone to be not stable. So we switched to this very stable table 
easy to work, great dinette. Uh, something that's unique about Jayco as well, we care about safety, uh, safety first with us. If this unit is gonna sleep eight people, we wanna make sure that there's eight seat belts. If it sleeps six, we wanna make sure there's six seat belts. We give you a seat belt in every seating position. So by law, we are required to give you two seat belts back here in the forward facing dinette, but we also give you two here as well. Not that we have to, and we don't just install them because we can install them, but we do have to have all of our seat belts go through um, a, a pull test. So if it's a single, a mounting bracket, that single mounting bracket needs to with a, uh, be able to withstand 5,000 pounds of constant force for 60 seconds. If it's a dual bracket, it has to withstand 10,000 pounds of constant force for 60 seconds. And so um, great that we install them simply because if you have eight people riding in here, we wanna make sure that you're gonna be able to seat belt eight. So we give you seat belts in both sections of the dinette. We don't have to, but safety first. Also for 2023, uh, we have uh, child tethers in the forward facing dinette. That way, if you have a car seat that does have a tether on it, you are able to tether in there. Um, you know, when I was a kid, it was just, or I should say when my kids were kids, simply stick the, the car seat down there, put your knee in it, cinch the lap belt, and that was sufficient. But I know now um, there's a little bit more concern for, for uh, complete safety. Uh, I loved my kids and wanted them safe as well but these child tethers just weren't a thing back then. Now they are, so we've given you those in this Greyhawk. Over here in the kitchen area, massive, massive sink. Um, you're gonna see that it is uh, double basin. We give you a cutting board on the one side, a drying rack on the other. Great thing about both of these uh, components is that if I need more counter space, because I am making green beans and I am uh, making my turkey, fill in the blanks with whatever you're making, plenty of countertop room, uh, USB, uh, wireless, uh, both USB and wireless here, as well as your 110 outlets. Um, just plenty of space in such a small area. Uh, as we go further back, let's switch places. We're back into the living room area. This unit has been optioned with theater seating. Theater seating in this floor plan, I love it because it's directly across from a 50 inch television. Great thing about this television, it is on a, on a pullout arm. And so let's say I'm sitting here, my wife's sitting here and some kids are over there. I can easily take my television and pull it out and extend it at an angle so that everybody in this unit is gonna be able to see this television. So um, great feature there. Right below, we do have a fireplace. These fireplaces are, are incredible in my opinion. They give you supplemental heat. Um, you can have it on just a faux look to where the, the lights are flashing and flickering. If it's middle of the summer, you don't need that heat, or I can actually use the heat feature on it. Speaking of heating components, cooling components, etc., this coach has been optioned with dual AC. Uh, this is a 30 amp coach, and we are able to give you dual uh, 13.5 ACs in this coach simply from a power management system. So it's this little module, kind of the brains behind the electrical system. If both of these air conditioners called for, for a cool right at the same time of that initial startup and surge, we would overpower the electrical within this coach. Um, but that power management system, make sure that if they're both calling for AC, that initial startup surge, your front air, air con conditioner will come on first, that compressor will kick up, and then as, it, as it, the voltage comes down a little bit, your rear will kick on, and then we're running uh, both systems at the same time. System smart enough, no, it's a Friday night, kids are in here watching a movie, it's time to make some popcorn. I put a bag of popcorn in the microwave, as soon as I hit start, it'll shed my rear compressor. As soon as it dings, it'll cycle through and my rear compressor will come back on. So 30 amp coach, we do offer dual AC. Standard is a 15K with a heat pump in the front. If you're in the Northern climates, not in the South, definitely encourage you to get those uh, that 15K with a heat pump, simply because that's nice auxiliary heat. You don't need to burn propane by firing up your furnace. It'll definitely take the edge off of a cool day. Uh, so love the living room area. To me, like I said, very residential here. Coming further back, we get kind of into the bathroom area. What I love about this floor plan is I can be out here brushing my teeth. Um, my wife can be out here washing her face. Inside the bathroom area is your stool and then also your shower. So two things can be happening at once while both people have their privacy. Speaking of this area, massive amounts of storage in such a small coach. Um, we've got our medicine cabinet here to be able to store. We've got all this cabinet space. This is your wardrobe. We've got drawers, just a lot of storage, as I said, for really a 32 foot coach. So uh, it's what I love about it. Coming back into the bedroom, 
Remember on the exterior, this is a pass-through uh, rear storage area. So this is a rear bed slide. We needed to uh, have a step up here to get that pass through, but you'll see back in this area, we do have a queen size bed. On both of your nightstands, you have um, wireless charging. Above both of those wireless charging, you do have uh, two cabinets, able to a lot of storage back here, and then your reading lights. We have daytime shades all throughout this coach. This coach has been optioned with a television in the bedroom. Uh, great for at night. If the kids are out there watching a movie, you can come back in here and uh, watch your Netflix, watch whatever you want, and you have those two separate areas. So um, this is our 30Z coach. Like I said, Canadians 30Z, I can call it either. It's up to you. Again, my name is Corey Weatherton, and I'm the Director of Product Development here for the Jayco Motorhome Group. I want to thank you for taking time today to watch this video, this walkthrough. If you have any questions, as I said, contact your local Jayco dealer. They'd love to be able to answer those questions for you. If you're wondering who your local Jayco dealer is, our website will help you with that. Or feel free to just call into the factory and we can help you out as well. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.